The camping season in 2020 may have been shortened, but we did get some time in our A-frame ALF. Our first campsite for the year was Memorial Day weekend at Table Rock Lake State Park. Table Rock Lake is located in southwest Missouri near Branson. We stayed in Campground 1, which is right on Table Rock Lake. As you can see, the water was pretty high when we were there. There are 85 campsites in Campground 1 on two loops. Sites range from electric to full hookups, and there are also family sites. The first week of June, we headed over to Eldon Hazlitt State Park in Illinois. We got a prime campsite. We were at Campsite 9 in the Illini Campground. There are over 300 sites in the Illini Campground, ranging from walk-in basic sites to 50 amp electric sites. June also found us at Johnson Shut-In State Park. It is located in Southeast Missouri. This time, we were on Loop 2, the full hookup loop, and got to deploy our blue lights. For our next camping adventure, we went to Lake Wapapillo State Park. It is located in southeast Missouri near Poplar Bluff. Asher Creek Campground was our home base for that weekend. You can find basic and electric campsites there. This campground is right on the lake and has about 25 campsites. It also has a dedicated boat launch. Over the 4th of July weekend, we were at Mark Twain State Park. It is located in Northeast Missouri. There are three campground loops at Mark Twain State Park. We stayed in the Puma Campground and our site was huge. Our weekend consisted of a hike where we saw this lovely owl and some great cooking. Our next huge campsite was at Wakanda State Park. There are two campgrounds at Wakanda State Park. We were in the Wakanda Lake Campground. This campground has 15 sites and they are all full hookups. This was a very relaxing spot to stay and we even enjoyed our new goose friends. Sunsets were especially beautiful. We're at Montauk State Park in Missouri, and we're going to take you on a campground tour. Montauk State Park is located in South Central Missouri near Salem. There are four campground loops at Montauk State Park. We were in loop four. Campground loops two, three, and four all have electric and family sites. Loop one is basic, but all of them sit next to the current river. Montauk Spring is where the current river starts. It was a favorite morning walk on the weekend we were there. In late August, we headed west and stayed at Wilson State Park in Kansas. It is located on Wilson Reservoir. We got camp set up just in time for a stunning sunset across the lake. Stargazing was a particularly wonderful activity that evening, but then, the winds came in and we woke up to cloudy, windy morning. We only had one night in Wilson State Park, but would highly recommend it for a return trip to Kansas. Glacier Basin Campground in Rocky Mountain National Park was our home for four days. This campsite was tight, but doable to get our A-frame into. There are four loops in Glacier Basin Campground, A through D. You'll notice that the trees are very small, they were decimated by the pine beetle, but this allows for some epic views of the Rocky Mountains. There was a fire ban while we were there, and so we got to use the grill on the side of our A-frame camper. There are no electric hookups, but there is a dump station, potable water, and flush toilets. We really enjoyed the hikes that could be taken from the campground. In October, we had our very first Harvest Host stay at Nearwood Winery in Knoxville, Iowa.
Halloween weekend found us back at Johnson's shut-ins, this time in Loop 3. We just really love Johnson's shut-ins campground. Loop 3 has wonderful sights and their electric premium sights. The next time we come, we're going to try to get site 317 or 314. All too soon, camping season was over for 2020. We hope you've enjoyed our adventures this year. Please feel free to share this video with other people who might be planning their adventures for 2021.